Welcome to Gazroth Tutorials. I'm Gazroth, and today we're going to look at attachables. Now, there's several different ways that you can attach an object to the avatar. You can use Sticky, you can use an anchor, you can use a script. We're going to go through all of them, but first we need an object to attach to the player. So we're going to go into build mode. We're going to open up our build menu, and we're just going to grab a cube. I'm just going to put our snapping tool on and then we're just going to use our spawn point to kind of get an idea of how big this is going to be. We're going to open up the properties panel and we're going to notice that if we go to more we don't have an option to attach it even if we were to go to behavior and set interactive to grabbable and then go to more we have some options for grabbing it but we don't have an op option to attach it to the player. And the reason for that is it has to be in a group. So if we were to say, let's make another one, let's just lower this down a little bit and we're gonna grab another object. I'm just gonna shrink it down and kind of make it look like a top hat a little bit here. A tad bit larger here, so select it and just go up. And now we have to select them, group them, and then open up properties panel. And now if we go in there, we see avatar attachable. So it only works on groups. Now we don't have to set this to grabbable. We can attach it via script and then we could just have it set as animated. Now we're just going to set this to interactive grabbable for the first couple options here. So we're going to go back more and then we're going to scroll down, turn off this two handed grab and then we're going to set it to sticky. Now what sticky does is it allows you to pick it up and just place it anywhere on the body. You can have it just set to the head, just to the torso, or you could have it set to any to both. So if we go in now and we go and we grab it and now I can attach it to my torso. Just got to make sure it gets locked on there. Yeah, now so now it's attached to my torso or I can attach it to my head. Now, if I open up my camera, now it looks like I got a nice little top hat. It actually looks kind of weird, so we're gonna do some changes and it doesn't look like it's all the way on my head properly. So we're just gonna close out of my camera here and we're going to just size this a little bit differently. We're gonna make this a little bigger and I'm gonna paint it black. Most top hats are black, right? Oh, that is messed up. So we need to go back into the group and fix that quick. And now we're going to go to more and we're going to change it to anchor. Now what anchor does is it will attach itself to this position on the avatar's head or torso. So this position will either be like, so zero, zero, zero would be like right here in the middle, or if it's set to torso, it'd be like right here so if we set it to head go into preview mode grab it and now just throw it on our head now it kind of resets itself and if I open up my camera now it's set to zero 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 on my face close out of that go back into build mode and just set it to torso just so you can have an idea of what that looks like go in grab it and then just attach it just like just like before you gotta make sure it's in there all the way here. There we go. And now open up our camera and now it's attached to that anchor position. So we're gonna close out of that, go back into build mode and we're going to adjust the anchor position. This is probably one of the more difficult aspects of getting it right is getting this anchor position right so if we look at it we're going to go back in and we're going to attach it to our head and it, it's a little low so we need to go up on the Y we also have to look at the orientation of the object so we, we want to make sure that Y positive is this way because if we adjust this value this is the Y of the anchor position and if say the Y is going that way then if we add to this, it's going to move over this direction. But since Y positive is this way, if we increase this value here, say let's go 0.2 just to see what that looks like. 
Now when I attach it to my head, it's a little higher. Open up a camera. Now it's a little too high and it looks like it's going forward a little bit. So we need to come back this direction on the Z. So we can go back into preview mode, open up our object panel and we're going to bring it down on the Y. So we're going to go down to 1.5 or 0.15 and then we needed to go back on the Z. So we're just going to go negative 1. Oh, negative 0.1. If I go negative 1, it's going to be really far away. Now if I go in, attach it to my head, open up our camera, and it actually looks pretty good. Looks like a good spot. Now I got a nice little top hat. And then if, you know, walking by somebody you can uh, grab the hat tip it off to them and be like top of the morning to you and bring it right back and bam look there we are there is one more way that i want to show you how to attach an object and that is via script so we're going to get out of this and we're going to grab a script gizmo so under gizmos grab a script and all we're going to do is when player enters world. Go to player events. When player enters world, we will attach. So we're gonna find under actions, under object, we're gonna scroll down, attach, attachable object to player. And this script will be on the hat. So we are going to take our value of self, which is under values. And we're going to attach self to player head. And you should change the name of this. Always change the name of your script so you don't want your script to be called script. That's not good. It's not good. So we're just going to call this hat because it's going to be on the hat. But we're going to now attach our script to this. And we're going to change it to hat. Now if we go in, now the hat's gone. We open up our camera. And bam, it's on my hat. I can still grab it. I can still top of the morning to people and keep going on with my day and if you don't want it doesn't have to be grabbable so we can set it to animated and now I'm gonna reset the script just to make sure so we're gonna go to script and we're gonna clear this out and we're gonna reset quick and just to be sure because if you don't have a lot of things in it it's hard to tell if it actually reset if you have a lot of stuff running you can kind of get that black boxy thing so we're just gonna stop it and start it and now when I come in open up my camera but I can't grab it so now I can't be like top of the morning to you I can't do that so we're gonna take we're gonna close out our camera quick go back in and it we're gonna set it to none we're just gonna see what happens we're going to stop and start and the hat stays there the reason for this is it's a static object you can't move a static object you can't color a static object you can't really do much to this object. So it has to be set to at least animated. But we're gonna set it back to grabbable because I like the idea of being able to take my hat off. Okay, now there's some other code blocks that we can look at for attachables. So currently when the, when the world is entered by the player, we, we are attaching the hat to the player. However, if we scroll down just a tad, we have attachable events. So when object is attached to the player and when object is unattached to the player, we can do some things. We can change the color. So let's say we want to color the object. We're going to go to actions. We're going to go scroll up just a little bit, set object color, and we're going to we're going to set it to red. And then when we unattach it, we're going to set it to black. So now, let me reset the script quick and go in. I grab my camera. Now I have a red hat. Now if I take it off, bam, it's black. And that is easy as that. And I can leave my hat there. I can hook it up on, on the wall somewhere and just walk away. And then when it comes time to leave the house, I can grab it, put it back in my head, and bam, I got a red hat. And we're just going to go through the script again. just because so when the world is entered by a player we're going to attach self self being the object this script is attached to which is the hat we're going to attach self to the player who entered and we're going to attach it to the head now you can attach to head or torso 
if you want to attach something to say the wrist it's probably better to use the grab anchor and we'll go over that in a second and then when object is attached to player we're setting self color to red and then when it's unattached from the player we're setting self color to black we have this object set as grabbable and that allows us to do some more things so if we go to more we notice we have grab anchor now this is very similar to the anchor position however the difference being grab anchor is so much easier we get this hand we get this nice beautiful hand that we can adjust we can adjust the anchor position so if I just go let's go one just to get it out of there and now I can pick up this hand and I can move it I can move it wherever I want and remember the forward direction is positive Z so this will sit on the avatar like this with the eyes going that way so if you're right-handed, you might want to grab it right here. And then if you're left-handed, what we can do is we can set per hand grab anchor. Let's just make this a one so I can grab it. And now I can say, oh, I'm going to grab it with my left hand, but I want to grab it right, right there. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, I think we should bring this in because it is a little bit off, I think. So now when I go in... It's attached. Let's open up our camera. And I can grab it. And it's always going to grab right there. So it looks like I have it backwards. I just I want it to be more like this. So if we let go, that's how I want my hand icon to look. I want it to look kind of like that. So the finger should be pointing up. So let's go back into build mode. And we need to adjust our hand. So we're just going to go like this. Just make sure looks good looks looks good go in to preview mode open up our camera and now when I grab it bam looks more realistic so I grab it with this hand it anchored here I grab it with this hand it anchors there and it looks pretty good now we're just gonna go over the object panel the properties panel for this object um, we're going on behavior if you're going to use, if you want to be able to pick it up, it has to be set to grabbable. If you don't want the player to pick it up, set it to animated. It doesn't have to be set to visible. You can attach an object that is invisible to the player. Um, you, it does not have to be collidable if you're attaching via script. If you are attaching via grabbing it and placing it, it has to be collidable because if it's not collidable, you can't grab it. And then under more, that's where the important stuff is. This one, we have a gr grab anchor for both the right and left hand. You don't need that for attachables. We just did that to make it you know, look more natural when we take it off. Um, set who can grab, we didn't change. Who can take from holder, we didn't change. The avatar attachable. Okay, so if you have this set to off, it ain't gonna work. And remember, it has to be in a group for this to appear sticky allows you to place it anywhere on the player anchor you set a predetermined position if you don't want other people to attach it owner is set to default but if you set it to everyone then anybody will be able to attach it we can change where it anchors so we set it to head and if you change it to torso now it's going to a attached to this position on the player's torso not the player's head so we're going to put it to the head this is how you de um, give it its positioning again it can be a bit difficult getting it to look right especially with the camera because you can't really see behind you so it's better to have a friend in here with you and then i have the hat script attached to the hat so let's open up our camera quick and take a look at our hat and uh yeah if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video, or if you have any ideas for a future video, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you liked the video, if you learned something, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are notified of all my future videos. I try to come out with videos every Monday. I'm actually moving into a new office, so that schedule might be off a little bit in the next couple weeks. I hope not. I'm going to try to work on these videos on Sunday. That way I can just post them on Monday, but we'll see.
And yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one. So it looked like it was just a tad too bit much, a tad bit too much, a tad high, tad high English. Okay.